Hi there, I'm Buddha, and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I will be showing you my Epiphone Sheraton. And this is not... Uh, when I show you my guitars in, in, the, um, in the show, I, I'm not intending to show you, to review the guitar and to let you know uh, how this exact model sounds like, because every guitar is different, and sometimes I've, I've changed things in my guitars. I'm just trying to show you how you can change your guitar to sound like something, or how a, this kind of guitar sounds like and compares to, to other guitars. So this exact guitar has a, a really cool story. Uh, really, in the early ages, I started uh, giving guitar lessons, teaching, guitar lessons uh, when I was probably 16 or 15 yeah 16 and I had a student a little older than me he already was working and owned uh, and earned his, his his own money so I was teaching guitars to earn money to buy instruments and uh, he had a guitar exactly like this an Epiphone Sheraton that I really loved. I loved the neck, I loved the shape of the guitar, I loved the, the feeling and the playing, the playability of the guitar. And I always kept that guitar in mind. A lot of years later, probably 15 or 16 years later, I, I went into a, a local music store and there it was this guitar hanging on a wall uh, to be sold as a second-hand instrument. And I was like, oh, this is exactly like the guitar of, of that, my, uh, that of one of my first students. So I tried it and it, it played perfectly. It was really great and I bought it. A year later, I was getting into my building and uh, I met that uh, student of mine that was also coming into the building. Uh, and I said, oh, how are you? How are you? We, we talked. And what are you doing here? Oh, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving into the building. So he, he, <laughs> he was my new neighbor. <laughs> and I said to him, well, do you remember your guitar? I just bought uh, a guitar exactly like yours. And he said, what do you bought it? I told him what I bought it. It's mine. <laughs> so this is his guitar. This was his guitar. Now it's mine. And I bought him. Uh, I bought. I bought the guitar t from him, from a music store. Uh, a guitar that had kept being in my mind, <clears throat> that I kept being in my mind for a lot of time. I did some changes in the guitar, and I will probably do uh, some fret changes too, because the frets are really low, and I like it a little bit uh, higher so I can bend better. But I changed all the electronics, all the pots, the switch, and the and the pickups. The pickups are PAF Lindy Frailing, pure PAF. They are amazing. All the cabling and all the wiring inside of the guitar was changed to a better wiring. All the pots were changed, and I did a special wiring to this guitar. So uh, it works like neck on this position, both on this on the middle position and bridge so this is exactly the same but instead of having a volume and a tone a volume and a tone I have volume master volume tone for neck pickup tone for the bridge pickup and this spot here is a blend control what does it do when I'm in the neck position it blends the other pickup basically it's it's that thing it blends the other pickup so if I'm, for example, on 8, I'm 80% on the neck pickup and 20% of the bridge pickup. But if I change to the bridge pickup, I change the order. So I'm 80% on the bridge pickup and 20% on the neck pickup. And this gives me a lot of different variations to, to both pickups and blending both pickups in two uh, completely different ways. So if I'm on the neck and I get like seven, on the bridge, and both So 
when I'm in the middle, this pickup doesn't work. When I'm in the bridge, I, I'm blending. I'm blending X percent of the neck. When I'm in the neck, I'm blending X percent of the bridge. So if I put it on five, for example, to a better blend, I'm on the neck with uh, fifty percent of the of the mix of the bridge. And this sounds already like the middle. But it's not the same as having 100% of the bridge mixed in. Middle. Neck with the 50% of the bridge. Now, 100% of the bridge. And this is great when playing with drive with with a with a, an overdriven amp, like I use. I usually play it with the basement. So you have two different blends of, of the middle pickup. So for example, in here I have a lot of blend but not 100%. If I turn it to the bridge, and in the middle, okay, so you have this th three different tones. Uh, but if you play with the volume and with the drive, I, I'm using the plim sol, the full tone plim sol. This was the middle. Let's hear the neck. full on. So I usually use this kind of guitar when I have two pickups, two volume, two tones. I usually use it uh, in the middle position and I play with, with both um, neck and bridge volume so I can have different tones, different character, and usually when I have the neck all the way out on on ten, and the, and the bridge, so in the middle position, the bridge on nine or eight, depending on the guitar, it will darken the tone. It will give me this kind of a mixed tone, as if I had all the all the treble in the guitar, and the tone cut off at the same time. So we, it's a Eric Clapton does it a lot. BB King did it a lot. A lot. In this kind of guitar, it's it's a classic uh, three three thirty five tone, but you can do it with a Les Paul too. I have the pickup set really low, and they sound really amazing. So you he you really hear a lot of the of the <coughs> you really hear a lot of the guitar's uh, acoustic thing, and it has. Um, a wooden block in the middle, so it's not full hollow; it's semi hollow. Uh, hence the 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 tailpiece and the, and the bridge being screwed into the top of the body. But it sounds like a jazz guitar a lot, especially in clean tones. But it has a raunchiness in the bridge pickup.
if you do it a little bit of the of the neck in the bridge pickup it gets a little smoother a little less pick attack a little less uh transient so it is a really great guitar and you can play a lot of things with, with it it's a really great funk guitar This is also a great rock and roll guitar, so you, you, the bridge pickup is really raunchy. Let's play it with a red channel on the Royal Atlantic. <laughs>
So it's a great rock and roll guitar. It's a great slide guitar too. And it is a great blues guitar. It, 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 does it, it really does it all. I really live, love it. And what I love about the PAFs is that they have, uh, they have clarity. So even in the neck with the plimsoll engaged, they have um, kind of a single coil strat thing. And that's also because they are really low in, in and the, into the guitar. Usually, humbucker neck pickups are really fat and dull, and I don't like it, and they are really violin-like, like the tone. They usually sound like this, but this has a spark, a sparkle into it. In the middle. Bridge. The bridge has this narrow, like it has a wah, which is great to cut through a band. But you, since we have a, a tone control, we can dime that off. I love it, I love it. And um, since we have two tone controls, I can dime a little bit off the bridge tone and it, it gets better balanced with the neck if I want it. Well, that's it. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you have liked the show. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's super important uh, that you show your support to the channel. Uh, by subscribing it. I love you, thank you for watching, and we'll see each other next week.